All right, so here we are drawing the M2 Bradley. What I'm doing here is just making a, just a basic profile of what I want it to look like. So at this stage of the drawing, you don't have to be um, precise about what to draw. You just want to just lay an outline of what the tank will look like or what the drawing will look like. So in this stage, just start off by drawing very light lines. We're not committing to anything at this point. We're just drawing a bunch of light lines and just figuring out the overall shape of the tank. So you wanna just continue with these lines. You don't have to be exact or anything like that. Just figure out what part of this, the lines you wanna create. All right, so now that we've kind of drawn the rough shape of what the tank or the vehicle will look like, we can start darkening the areas where we know that we're confident in keeping that, that line or that shape. So the M2 Bradley, basically you have the hull which is this section right here. And the turret's gonna go right around this area. So, very simple vehicle to draw, really. This is a standard tank design with the, the turret and the hull. One very important thing to take into consideration is the size of the paper. So you want to draw the outline and kind of measure the paper and figure out if everything is going to fit. So that's a basic rough outline of the Bradley. Now we can start adding in further details and start darkening in the lines that we know we're going to make up the tank. Okay, when you're drawing your vehicle, you can always draw aid lines. So the aid lines will help you determine where the middle of the vehicle is. So here in the hull, what I've done is I've drawn an aid line somewhere between this side and that side. And this here is gonna help me divide this section into two. Okay, so what I've done here is I've drawn a guideline that comes down in the middle of the hull from here on here, and then another one that kind of comes down in the bottom of the hull. So what this has done is it's giving me a reference point where the middle is so then I can start using that reference point to then draw other things that are in um, the hull. So typically with these vehicles, they carry a lot of spare parts. So uh, getting ready to draw one of the spare wheels right here. So with this guideline, it'll help me know where the middle is and then I can position that wheel because I know that um, this spare wheel is mounted in the middle of the vehicle.